Hey guys, um, Janet here. <laughs> if you saw the previous video that I uploaded, then you will know that we picked a bunch of boxes out of a house where um, the people are moving and they wanted everything gone. Um, what we didn't pick, they were just going to give away to Goodwill or just throw it away. And rather than that happening, um, we did take a good chunk of stuff out of there to see if there's anything that is sellable, keepable, um, and then whatever we can't sell or keep, we're just going to donate. Um, that way it stays out of the landfill and someone else can enjoy it. Um, but it was really nice that they offered to uh, let us look through that first before it went to the Goodwill. What's great about what we do with the reselling and scavenging is a lot of people will contact us um, if they want to get rid of stuff or sell stuff and, and we get to go through it you know, sometimes before other people do, which is really nice. And we're really grateful for those kind of opportunities because it helps um, our online stores. It helps my online store. It helps me as a small, I guess a small business owner. And these items get a new life. They get a new owner. Um, they can be enjoyed by others out there. So <laughs> this is a no frills video. As you can see, I do not look very glamorous today. <laughs> I'm not dressed in costume. I'm not dressed with my makeup on and my hair done. I'm just here doing a video showing the um, items that I'm going to either keep, sell, or donate. All right. Well, let's dive back in again for round two of the big haul. <laughs> guys so um, the, some of the boxes and some of the bulky items that I showed you in the previous video I have either researched it listed it or have it in my donate pile so I did take some boxes out of here there's a box here we could look through that I don't think I showed before so there's um, some type of remote some remote controllers are sellable so I grabbed it just in case Again, none of this stuff I have researched, but I'm in the process of doing so. And some items are listed already. Um, it looks like they were researching some cards and had little notes. There's some vintage Snoopy playing cards. I don't know if those are worth $10, but it's definitely worth a look here. Um, let's get the, try to get this to focus. Another note, more vintage cards. These have kittens on them. And it's for a, um, oh, a railroad. Chesapeake and Ohio Railway. That must be their logo, the little sleeping kitten. How cute. All right, um, there's a cat, uh, not a cat. Well, there's a cat, but it's a cat um, cookie jar. A cat cookie jar. He kind of looks like an orange version of our Louie kitty. Um, there's the lid to them. I think he's okay. I don't think there's any chips on them. This is a sugar bowl, and it looks like it was part of a set. It looks vintage, so I grabbed it. There's a bunch of glassware I need to sort through, actually. Is this the matching creamer? There's the matching creamer. And I think that's maybe 1940s or 1950s glassware. I don't know who made it. There's like a little, um, some type of little jar there with a lid. It's a, it feels like a very heavy, sturdy glass, so that's kind of nice. What's this little guy? There's a little guy here. Oh, there's another creamer that looks like it goes to a different set. It has like a geometric design. And then here's a Kodak Instamatic camera. I don't think these are worth a lot, but I think in the past I sold them. Um... I can't get the box open, but you get the idea. It's, oh, wait, there it goes. Okay. There's an Instamatic camera. So there's that box. Um, hmm. Let me try to move things over here. I'm going to move this over. Oops. <laughs> Don't want to break anything. And then there's a box here of some stationery and little odds and ends. There's um, some vintage cat stationery cards. The artwork is really cute. Very, very cute. Here's a box of like religious trinkets. There's um, a Mary figurine. It looks like it's made out of chalkware. 
So there's Mary. Um, she's a little chipped up, but most of the time when you find chalkware, there's always going to be a chip or two. It's very rare to find um, these kind of figures or any chalkware figure in pristine condition, especially when they're older. That's just the way it is. Um, there is a pretty rosary in here with like these fancy sparkle beads. So that's really nice. Um, in the past, I have sold vintage rosaries. Um, some people do collect the religious items. Um, so that's cool. There's that. Um, there's another rosary here with some sparkly beads. So that's really nice. I think a collector would want those. There's a keyboard that I grabbed that we might be able to use. It's a wireless one, and it has the dongle. Um, keyboards and mice, computer pieces and parts, sometimes we can reuse them. Okay, um, so what else is in here? Let's see. There's some, uh, like, prayer cards there. There's some, like, ephemera, little paper things. It looks like there's more little rosaries and pins, stuff like that. So that's cool. Oh, a jewelry box. What's in here? Oh, it's a little, um, like, Mary pendant, right? Yeah, it's a little Mary pendant. Cool. I bet we can find a new home for, for, uh, for that one. Some um, more paper stuff. This one's in a frame. That's the Sacred Heart. There's, uh, looks like another little beaded, maybe a rosary or a bracelet or something. Who's this? Oh. Is that, that might be Joseph with Jesus. Another chalkware piece. He looks like he's in better shape than the, the Mary one. Um, those do sell from time to time, and they're smaller. Even though they're breakable, they're smaller, so they're easy to deal with. And then this looks like an ashtray to me. I grabbed it because it kind of looked deco, like maybe 1930s or 40s. It looks like you would put your cigarettes in there. That's kind of interesting. And it kind of matches the uh, sugar and creamer uh, pictures that I showed you earlier. So, okay, that's this little box. I think that's everything that was in there. And then, let's see, there's like a cat figurine in here that I grabbed. Or, no, this isn't a cat figurine. It's uh, like a grandma figurine, a little old lady. And it has a tag on it. It looks very 70s. It's 70s retro, kind of kitschy and fun. I'll have to look her up. And in here, there's like some vintage juice glasses. This, uh, oh, there's Foghorn Leghorn, right? Is that who that is? Yeah, Foghorn Switches and Henry's... Switches? Henry's Eggs, okay. Henry's Egg. So Henry and uh, Foghorn Leghorn. And then... This is Davy Crockett, a Davy Crockett juice glass. How cute is that? Davy, Davy Crockett. <laughs> That's adorable. Um, all right, let's see. There's so many glasses that I need to look through. There's actually a whole nother box of glasses. There's another Davy Crockett. I wonder if there's like a whole Davy Crockett little glass set. That would look really cute in someone's kitchen. Oh, what's this thing? Whatever it is, it's in pieces. Chicago. It says Chicago. Oh, it looks like it's part of a pencil sharpener. Okay, so there's that. Here's the other piece. Oh, it's one of those like yeah, old timey pencil sharpeners. This feels heavy, like it's made out of metal. It's got the the blades there. I have to watch. I gotta watch. I don't want to get cut up here. Um, yeah, that looks old. Look at the screws on it. Those are flathead screws. That's old. This is metal in some type of plastic or celluloid, maybe. And it has the old-timey lettering. That's cute. Okay, so I've got another box here, and I opened one of the glasses already. I know, I cheated. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> this is some type of tourist glass. It looks like there's a riverboat on there. It says SC, so maybe that's South Carolina. Some type of riverboat from down south, maybe? Um, I'm not sure how well that picks up on the video. 
and I think that's a Libby glass. And then I opened this one, and it's marked L underneath on the bottom. So I think that's also a Libby glass. So this might be a bunch of Libby, like vintage glasses, maybe souvenir glasses. Um, this one's kind of iridescent, has kind of like a goldish pink color. Anything on the bottom? I can't tell. No markings on the bottom, but I could check on Google Lens. That's a pretty glass. Um, glassware, I'm kind of learning as I go, and this is a great way to learn when you can get a whole box of them for free. Here's another one with that riverboat. So now there's two. I bet it's part of a set. Um, okay, look at these old papers. I should try to unwrap them to look at the ads. The paper's very crumbly, so I don't think it would hold up. There's another one. So we have three river boat glasses. What's this? What is this newspaper? Glass. Ah, uh, come on. Oof. Another river boat. So we have a set of four of those. I could probably, um, if they are sellable, I could sell them as a set of four. If I donate them, at least it's all together. They could be a whole set at the Goodwill or whatever thrift store we donate to. Um, what's this one? I'm trying to do this with one hand here. Ooh, there's another one of those glasses. So there's two of those iridescent ones. I'm going to stop the camera and do this with two hands and I'll show you some other ones I unearthed. Okay, so the rest of those glasses, I'm just gonna donate. These are Libby Southern Comfort Steamboat glasses. Those might be 25 to $30. These other glasses, I'm not sure, but they are cute and they look like they're in good condition. There's only three of them, but maybe a fourth one will turn up later. So these I'm going to keep. The rest of those, they can get donated. Okay, guys, so there's two boxes that match. They're about the same size here. And inside were these, um, they look like 1980s, like little glass lamps. They're in really good condition. But when I looked up 1980s lamps, um, I didn't really see much there. In the past, I've sold 1950s. 1960s lamps, the ones that are considered mid-century modern. Um, these are nice. I think someone could still use them, so I think that's definitely donatable. And what's great is if I donate to some of the thrift stores, they give you a coupon so you can go shopping and get a discount and find more cool stuff. Um, there's some boxes here of some things that I think James wanted to look through, so I'll wait and let him video those. I'll save that for another video. Um, and then all these little things I'm going to research and see if I could get listed that I need to test. So there's a lot to do. <laughs> but, um, yeah, let's stop this a second. I'll spin the camera around. Woo! Okay, there I am again. Um, I want to thank you guys for watching these videos. If you like this kind of stuff, hit the like button. If you found cool stuff in the trash or when, at, when you were out thrifting, put it in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Or if there's things that you collect... Um, you could put it in the comments. Also, if anyone's interested in buying the things that I had in the video, I will be getting some of it listed and put on my eBay store. The eBay links are in the video description below. Thank you guys again, and we will have more Mummy and the Monkey videos and some other haul and thrifting videos in the future. So, you know, look for those. <laughs> Bye. Thank you. Ooh, what's cooking in there? We've got some chicken stew cooking away this afternoon while we're working. And uh, later tonight we'll have a yummy dinner.